Hello, I'm Sophia Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to my third piece for this YouTube Artist Collective theme, Cards of Many Fortunes, Fates and Fables. If you haven't seen my other two videos, um, feel free to check them out. It will show the other two speed paints of the other two pieces that I will show at the end of this video. Um, this basically is the final card that I was looking at doing. Showing them as lovers, showing these two characters deeply in love and showing that their fate, no matter how much it will bring them apart, they will always be in love with one another. I kind of after reading the story of the sun and moon really hoped that at least it'd get a glimpse of each other among like the sunset and the sunrise and this is like the moment i really wanted to capture and considering how much i've kind of fallen in love with these two people and well these two characters and their fate i think it would be really nice if i in the future did a few more of these I really struggled with the posing on this one. Um, I knew I wanted them to be almost reaching for each other, having a brief moment together, just to capture that, like, we have each other, no matter how far apart we are, we will always be together. And I really wanted to have that moment between them. Uh, everyone in the YouTube Artist Collective has worked so hard on this theme, and I really do love what everyone has done so far. Um, I've been very fortunate to be a part of this group and to get all the sneaky peeks and behind the scene footage and from what I've seen from what people have done you guys are genuinely in for a treat they've all done such a phenomenal job as always this piece and the other two will be available up on my store and I'm really glad that a lot of people when I was doing sort of like feedback on these um, were very happy for me to do three separate pieces I think if I did, as I have mentioned in previous videos, in the previous videos, I think if I did just one piece, I don't think I would have been able to get everything that I wanted in just one piece alone. And it kind of made sense for me to do more than one since it was a tarot card style idea that I was going for. Uh, if you guys are a regular to my channel, um, I do really love things like this and um, I have done a plant witch tarot card which are my two own characters and I will be doing a mushroom hunters tarot card idea as well um, just mainly because I'm very inspired by these pieces of artwork that are on these tarot card styles and I think it just makes for a really beautiful idea. Uh, these there are prints available for this up on my Redbubble store um, as well as prints of the other two designs as well and if you want to check out the videos please feel free to uh, they've both been uploaded by now so you should be able to check them out and you'll be able to see all of the videos all together I think if I put all the video footage in one video instead of getting like a 10 minute video you would have ended up with a very very long video and I don't think anyone would have sat through that much of not only me talking but um, you know that much footage of someone drawing. I think personally I this one isn't my favourite. Um, I really do love the moon uh, design that I did um, just simply because I love that colour palette so much more but what I really like about this piece is the blending in the middle where she's almost cooling off in the centre and he is warming in the centre as well just to create this almost like feeling that she, he is radiating her light and she is accepting his coolness and I just in my heart of hearts even though they will never be together because they know that their love will cause destruction across the world that it's unfair that they shouldn't be together and just to have these brief moments an eclipse almost if you will just means that they get to be together even if it is just for a brief moment and it's really it is a really sad story but it's also one full of hope and love and their selflessness to be apart even even though they're so deeply in love their selflessness to be apart and for the good it is it i don't know it kind of touches uh, my heartstrings a little bit <laughs> 
The equipment I've used here is Faber-Castell Mixed Media Paper, Unipin Fine Liners, Manga Car Flexible and I use my Winter and Newton Pro markers, use a little bit of Fine Tech at the end and, and some uni or uh, Fine Liners. Full list equipment as always is down in the description. You'll notice that I've used brown lines for her and black lines for him and this is simply because when I did the original illustrations she was all done in brown lines and he was all done in black lines just so that their colour palette kind of matched in a way almost. It was a stylistic choice that I ended up going with um, and I think it really helps set the two characters apart. This is what I call the ugly stage where um, you're, you're kind of working out where your colour's going to go and what everything's going to go and that the flats are all starting to come out and this is the part where I was just looking at the piece and I was just going I don't know if I like this and as always my perseverance to push through and just for me to see um, where it was going to take me because sometimes I find that with art we get too wrapped up in perfectionism and I think that when we, yes we strive for perfection but at the same time we should accept the mistakes that we make and learn from them. What I learned from this is I definitely need to get better at drawing males, definitely. Um, he's very feminine in his features. Uh, I can draw them face on and slightly to the side, but anything in between I really struggle with. So that's going to be my turn of point for this year. Um, as well as I would really, really did love drawing these tarot card style ideas. I just love how everything felt painterly and I was really inspired by Art Nouveau as I am for most of my pieces. Um, if I'm not inspired by um, pretty much older storybooks, I'm inspired by Art Nouveau and like lots of older style paintings. I, ha I feel like I have a very anime style, um, but it's inspired by a lot of different things. And I think I've come to accept that I really enjoy my style at the moment. I like how far my art has come on, not to say that I don't see where areas I definitely need improvement of where I want to, like where I would like to take my art in the future, but I know that the style that I have at the moment, I really do love. As well as doing this sort of, almost, it was almost like a yin and yang I wanted to create with them, but not so much to that definition. I wanted him to have this very cool palette and her to have this very warm palette and it made sense for me to do both ends having the lovers um, at the bottom, you know, where it says the words. Because I've, in tarot cards they have like the words at the bottom of the card and that can predetermine like what the fate is. So this, while yes, it is about two people who are very deeply in love, it's also very tragic, um, simply just because they can't spend the time together that they want, so the brief moment that they are together. I don't know, it just makes me really sad. <laughs> if you guys have done any pieces as a non-official member of the YouTube Artist Collective, oh my goodness, please let me see. I really want to see what work you have done. And what would you have done with this theme? Like, would you have done playing cards? Like, I really love the idea of like humanising player cards. and. I would, if I were you, check out some of the amazing people in the collective who are all listed down below. Links to the other two videos I've done will pop up on the screen throughout the video as well, as well as at the end of the video as well. Um, I'm really proud of all three pieces and all three pieces are for sale up on the store as well as prints are available if you want prints. Um, if not, there is stuff on my Redbubble store as well. But I just, I really enjoyed doing this. It was nice to tell a story through a series of illustrations and that's something that I always want my pictures to do. I want them to tell a story. I want you to look at them and, oh, there's Bella again. I want you to look at them and be able to understand what I'm portraying through them. And I really hope I managed to achieve that and I hope you guys have enjoyed all three pieces as well because I certainly did enjoy drawing them. Coming to the final touches now using that fine tech palette to add a little bit of shimmer because everyone loves a little bit of glitter um, just to add and pop out some areas that just need a little bit more zhuzhing and 
here's a few final looks over the pieces. This is the Sun piece, I absolutely am in love with her. Uh, that is the lovers piece and on the end there is the moon piece. I hope you guys have enjoyed all three pieces of my YouTube Artists Collective. Maybe like, comment, subscribe. But as always folks, stay creative.